Well, as a design mechanical engineer, I develop all of the hardware that you see on our platforms except for the process module sites. As a process engineering, we design and develop the process that can uh, provide solution to customers' current and future technology. I work in a team that develops software infrastructure and technology for our equipment. We do firmware development for wafer handling robot and mechanism. I develop chemistry concepts for the spin cleaning tools. I manage the factory automation and the UI development teams here. I joined LAM because it gave me the opportunity to learn robotics. I took robotic courses in my graduate school and was looking for a position that gave me the opportunity for robotic development, and LAM was one of them. And it's a decision that I never regretted. I started at LAM right after I graduated from Cal, um, and I think it was the idea of controlling machines and making them do things that brought me here. Actually, this, this was my first job. After I graduated from school, I found that what I have learned from school can apply to semiconductor industry, and LAM is one of the big companies. Our industry moves so fast that if you don't remain at the forefront, you can completely miss the boat. We need to develop new products very fast, but also with high quality. For a semiconductor technology company, the technology is almost everything. So I think engineering's work is very critical for a company. We are a very fast growing industry, so you need to be very flexible and find also quick and also best in class solutions. No product at LAM is built by an individual, so you could say that teamwork is sort of fundamental to what we do at LAM. It's that sense of people looking out for each other. There's no one engineer that knows it all. You definitely need the broad spectrum of knowledge from each individual to contribute to the design. It starts with everybody being on the same page in terms of what the requirements are, what is the schedule, and how do we work with each other to make sure that we can achieve that. An engineer's role in the future here is turning the theoretical into the practical. I think there is a scary amount of uncertainty in what we do. We don't always know exactly how what we build is going to behave in all situations. So I think with experience in engineering, you just have to learn to deal with that uncertainty. The engineers, I would say, are the key persons who have everything in their hands to develop or design our future. As long as the world is moving towards a different innovative direction, meaning the technology is developing, engineers will always be needed around the world.